Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 with the New Nations mod. In the last episode we declared war on Sokoto to take some land from them and I was just debating whether or not to add an additional war goal to this war and I think I will. We'll take demand concession. We can have Nigeria or East Hazeland, which would be either this or this. Uh, we know that East Hazeland has a coal province, I think. Or was, am I thinking of the other one? No, it does have a coal province. This one has lower pops, no coal, so I think that's a pretty easy decision there. We'll be taking East Hazeland. It is going to drag out this war a little bit, and it will definitely cost us the full 7.5 infamy, but we can just about afford it. And uh, the reason I wanted to do that was because I'm a little bit worried that by the time we get to declare war on them again, and our truce has expired, they'll have been completely annexed by some other European power. So where are you headed? Up here. I think we'll let them do that, and attack them. They're going to arrive on the 26th. Okay, I'll keep this army available in case we're going to need to reinforce. This is the stack that we have our infantry in, which hopefully, hopefully will be more advanced than their units and should make this pretty easy. They're going to get out on the third, and in fact they're going to escape, okay. Let's see if we can get this army maneuvered around to possibly intercept them. Okay. UK didn't take much from Ashanti, it looks like. Okay, so we're going to catch them here. So we took a river crossing and they have a better leader. And we'll see if our better units will allow us to win this. Looks like we probably are going to win, but I think I'm going to send in some reinforcements from this stack. So we lose a bit less in the battle. Okay, so 21 war score, the peace offer will require 27 and probably more. That's fine though. And we definitely don't want you pathing through that army, so we'll have you come down here and meet up with this one. Okay. They would accept one, but not both. Scientists in our country have discovered hussars, okay. And Ashanti has been pieced out by France in exchange for their entire country. All right. France declared war on Congo. All right, so maybe they're turning their attention further to the south here. And it 
looks like they are going to come here and try to siege back some land, so we'll have to stop them doing that. I'll send you here to take over the siege, and then we'll use this stack to attack the 14 here. Though they're fairly low on organization. I think we should be okay with the artillery and everything. Artillery? Did I say artillery? Scientists in our country have discovered social justice for 5% plurality. Ooh, this definitely seems like a mistake. We have a plus four general. Let's uh, see if we can retreat from this. we're going to have to use a larger force to attack this, though that plus four general is going to be a problem no matter, no matter what we do. And again, we're losing money, so I'm going to reduce education even further. Just for the time being. Just to make sure we can supply our troops. Okay, so we've taken back that land. I'll wait until the 1st of August so this stack can get some reinforcements, hopefully. Then we'll go in against this 13. Our superior numbers and better units will be enough to overcome it. Unless they would accept peace in the meantime, which of course they won't. They would accept the more expensive goal by itself though, so we're probably not too far off. This is going better, though we are losing quite a lot in the process. And they would accept the offer, so we will proceed. I'll immediately lower spending here so we can hopefully start making a decent amount of money again. We can put through a reform. We'll allow harassment. Oh, and we haven't had any research set for a while. That is probably a mistake. Though it hasn't been more than a year, I think, so we haven't lost anything out of it. Um, I suppose we'll go for breech-loaded rifles. Access from Spain. Sure. So 
So unfortunately we're at 23 infamy now, so it's going to be a while before we can comfortably declare war again, unless we happen to get a free CB from somewhere. But we did manage to gain some land from our neighbours before they were all taken over by European powers. Uh, we're at 100% admin efficiency in these states. So remove our focuses there. And let's see where we need to send them. Uh, Western Mali is over 2% clergymen, so we can just switch this one to bureaucrats. This one is only 1.4, so we'll just leave that there for the moment. And we'll spend our other two focus points on clergymen, since up to 4% helps out with uh, literacy. And we are still very low on literacy. Alright, so definitely making a lot more money now, we can afford to repay some loans. And we are paying industrial subsidies for our single liquor distillery. It seems to be doing okay. Okay, and heredity. Probably should consider building some more factories. Spain has annexed Benin. And these provinces are colonial provinces. We obviously don't have enough bureaucrats of the accepted cultures there to integrate them. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do something about that at some point. We have dropped to 11th place. Not too big a deal though. I can probably afford to reduce tariffs as well, since that will be hurting my factory's ability to get its goods. Not sure whether it was already at zero or it was reducing the tariffs that sent it to zero, but either way, we're not paying subsidies anymore, we'll repay some more loans. In fact, all of the loans. And I think we can even afford to increase education spending again at least a bit. Even more, actually. Go up to 60 there, and go to 50 with admin spending. And Spain declared war on Sokoto. We'll probably even go up to 50 on military spending as well. So, plenty of colonization and conquest happening elsewhere. Okay, down here. France and Spain competing over here. So, if we're going to be able to colonize anywhere, it's going to be probably something like here. Though, it still seems unlikely we'll be able to get the necessary techs in time. France has annexed Congo and immediately declared war on somebody else. Let's see if we have any chance of getting any alliances again. But I think with our infamy it's going to be pretty unlikely. The UK won't accept for political considerations.
Hmm. How about Spain? Nope. Alright, we'll go to gerrymandering, I suppose. We are about to get breech-loaded rifles, which will allow us to possibly invent colonial negotiations. We already have the possibility to invent prophylaxis against malaria. So nationalism and imperialism is the next one. We could go straight to that. It's actually possible we might not have the wherewithal to even invent the necessary things if we're not a great power. No, I think it will be possible there. Okay. Well, who knows? With only one more tech to go, we might actually be able to colonize one province or something. All hope is not lost. Should try to build a few more factories. Eastern Mali will be our next highest population area. Which is... what is this, here or somewhere? Yes. Has cotton in there. Fruit. And at the moment we can only afford a cement factory. Though, actually... Why don't we build a cement factory? Probably useful to have, so we'll... I suppose just go for nationalism and imperialism immediately. Access from Sokoto. Sure, why not? I'm sure they're just gonna get uh, completely annexed by Spain, but... We might as well try and be on good terms with them. just in case they survive. You two. They're also at war with Spain. Wari, okay. I suppose we could... Approach the lower great powers for possible alliances. It looks like Italy is the most well disposed for it. Plus 50 from political considerations. If we had less infamy or almost no infamy, they would actually consider it. We should also build some ships at some point. And also, uh, for that matter, expand our naval bases. Which I suppose... We'll go ahead and do... We only have two coastal regions, so only able to build two naval bases for the moment. Okay, so... Sokoto not quite full annexed, but only one little province remaining to them. Spain declared war on Burundi. Okay, I click go to and it showed me where Spain is. I do already know that. That's fine though.
And our budget is looking relatively good. Let's try and increase education spending just a little bit. Not able to get the iron for our cement factory, unfortunately. Should be... Should be able to get it at some point, though. Apparently we didn't need iron to build our naval base, or else maybe naval bases are higher priority and it got the iron first. I'm not sure. We are getting it slowly now. Uh, France has white piece somebody and annexed Cuba. I guess was down here. Alright. Well, we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.